welcome to another edition of the Big O Show. I'm sitting outside right here in lovely Kingsport, Tennessee. It is 92 degrees at 7.35 p.m. Normally this time of year our high is about 86, 84, 86 max. Because we live right here in the mountainous region in East Tennessee. But without further ado, let's get into what I'm talking about. Get to the product, people. Hope everyone's had a wonderful day. Hope everybody's been happy, positive, and focused. Van Orange, that's what I'm talking about. Van Orange. Before I open, uh, well, I'll go ahead and open this and do a taste test, and then I'll look, tell you about a little bit of history about the Fanta Orange. This, it was started, Fanta Orange was first manufactured in 1940. And if you're going to drink a Fanta Orange, Fanta has a, a, over 90, diff, has 90 different flavors throughout the entire world, but Fanta Orange is the most popular. And without further ado, let's pop the top with my 1965 with my 1965 Slits bottle opener. This is a 1965 Slits bottle opener. It was given to me by my great great grandfather who served in World War One. Yep. He served in World War One. He gave me this in 19, 1972 when I was six years old. Alright. Let's open this panel bottle. Listen. You want to hear the sound of goodness? I'm already popped a little bit and it made that little psh. Listen. Listen. It didn't pop again. It didn't fizz again. It's orange. It's an orange beverage. It's not a Coca-Cola. It's a soda. It's an orange soda beverage. This uh, bottle right here, the glass bottles were made in Mexico. The plastic bottles were made in USA, most of them. Let's see how it tastes. It's a medium, the, the, the color is medium, medium orange. It's good. I'm thinking, give me a minute and I'll tell you on my food rating scale from one to 10, where, where the number, where the higher the number means the better the beverage or the better the product. So one to two is terrible. Three to five is average, six to eight is good, and, and anything above eight is fantastic, outstanding. You get it? All right. Takes a couple swallows to make an honest, to give an honest opinion. Got to let it, my taste buds do the talking, and my mouth needs to shut up, right? On my food rating scale, I will give it a five. It, it's it's a good product. Well, five would be fair. It's not outstanding. Uh, one thing I do like about it, you can taste the orange flavor. Number one, you can taste. Number one, it's cold. You got to drink them cold. Number one, you can taste the orange flavor. Number two, it's not overly sweet. I do not like any beverage that is super sweet. I don't care if it's a Fanta orange, or if it's a Coca-Cola, or if it's a glass of tea. I do not like anything too sweet. It's not over, it, like I said, it has a good flavor. It has a good flavor. It's not over sweet. It's, got, it's perfect as far as the sugar content goes. But one thing it is lacking, one thing it is lacking, my friends, it doesn't have enough fizz. It ought to have, it ought to have carbonation in it to give it more, or more carbonation to give it more fizz. It's not real. It's not as far as uh, being real fizzy or you know rejuvenating your taste buds. It's not there. And it says in the ingredients carbonated water, so it does have carbonation in it, but it doesn't have enough. One way to tell is to turn it turn it up and let the bottle come back down and see how many bubbles pops up. See, it barely the only way it fizzed up is I had to slam it back down from my mouth back down hard. It, it's, when you turn it up, normally it should fizz. You should see bubbles. That's a decent amount of carbonation. Because it didn't, doesn't have quite enough carbonation, I think it should have a little bit more. It doesn't jump out. It's nothing great. On a hot summer day in the refrigerator, 
down here in the deep in the deep south, like well, we're in Tennessee, East Tennessee. But if you're in South Georgia, where I grew up, where it was super muggy on a hot summer day, we used to drink these. As a matter of fact, back in the 1970s, and you see how this bottle right here? This is a 2020 bottle. You see how it spiraled? Back in the 70s, they had a little bit more spiral to them, and the bottles was a little bit thicker. And you could take them back in. I was born in '68. You could take these bottles. I'd pick them up on side the hillside where I lived, down the embankment, and I'd get a, most time five or fifteen bottles a day. Where people would just drive by in the cars and throw 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 the bottles over this embankment where I lived. The house I lived in, right beside it, was a steep bank, and the road was up level with the front of the house, and the back of the house was off the ground. I don't know, fifteen feet. So we was on basically the, the house was built on the hillside. The road was in front of my house, and people would ride by and throw bottles over the embankment down into the weeds. Me and my black friend Tyrone would go down there and get the bottles. We could get a nickel piece, and, in, and this was back in the mid 70s. Well, back from in the late 70s mostly, from 76 to to 81, we'd go, we'd collect these bottles, Coca-Cola bottles, Fanta, Fanta, Fanta bottles, Sprite bottles, Seven Up bottles, and, and back then they were all glass. Even it didn't matter if it was a Coca-Cola, Seven Up, Fanta, or whatever. You could take them to the local uh, convenience store. They'd give you a nickel bottle, and that was a lot of money in the, in the 70s. A nickel bottle? Oh yeah. Some days we'd get two or three uh, bottles, and we could in the convenience store right next to where we lived, the little mini mini market. He would give me like you know t uh, 50 cents for 10 bottles. You know, nickel piece. Well, you could buy a Fanta for 25 cents. So I'd buy a Fanta, maybe two. And without further ado, like I said, I give it a five, but let me give you a little history lesson on this product. And basically I can do it without even looking at the book. I've already re researched it. I'm trying to remember most of it in my mind. But if I don't, it's on my cheat sheet. My cheat sheet. My cheat sheet. All right, without further ado, let me prop this up over here. Fanta is an orange soda. It was created in Germany in 1940. In 1940, the Coca-Cola, the Coca-Cola bottling company in Germany, could not get any Coca-Cola syrup from the United States to produce Coca-Colas. So the plant manager decided, well, the plant manager was thinking one day. He says, well, I need to come up with some kind of beverage because we can't get the Coca-Cola syrup to continue producing the Coca-Colas. We need to, I need to come up with some kind of beverage to keep the plant operating, to keep everybody, so everybody have a job, so the plant won't shut down. So what he done is, is what he did is he took apple pup that was left over from lollipops. That's right. He took apple pup that was left over from lollipops, and he took whey, which was le left over from cheese, and he created the Fanta, the first Fanta. And guess what, people? It was in orange. Guess what color it was? It was yellow. It was yellow. The first Fanta in 1940 was yellow. Okay. And I'll go ahead and read from this real quick to make sure I get in what I want to get in. Fanta is orange soda. It was created in Germany in 1940 because of the war. Because, uh, excuse me, Fanta is an orange soda. It was created in Germany in 1940. Because of the war, there was no shipping between Germany and the United States. The German Coca-Cola bottling company could no longer get could no longer get Coca-Cola syrup. So Max Keith, Max Keith, the plant manager, could no longer produce Coca-Cola. Using apple fiber left over from lollipops and whey from cheese makers, Fanta was created and became popular. The original, the original German Fanta was yellow and tasted different from today's orange. From today's orange Fanta. After the war, Fanta was brought to the United States by Coca-Cola, and in 1960, they bought the trademark. Fanta Orange is the most popular flavor throughout the world. Writing on the back. It was available in, it was available in, it was in, available throughout the entire world. In terms of volume, Brazil, Brazil was, a, in terms of volume, Brazil is the largest consumer of Fanta in the world. Fanta is more popular in Europe and South America than in the United States. There are over 
there there are over 90 different flavors of Fanta worldwide. Now you know the rest of the story. No, I'm not Paul Harvey. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching the big old show. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe to my channel. If, if it's your first time visiting, visiting my channel, be sure to hit the notification bell. And guess what, people? If you ain't laughing, you ain't living. Be happy, pause, and focus. I'll see you in the next video. Share my videos. I send my love out to all my viewers. Good vibes. There goes out. See you in the next video. Until then, next time, friends, I've got Fanta to drink. Fanta Orange. Very good. Very tasty. A five. I mean, it's not very good. Like I said, it's fair. 12 ounce bottle in case you didn't know. Out, out for the final, final time. Oh yeah.